please be careful with that. That's an antique. You have nothing to worry about, ma'am. We do this every day as our job. Come on, Jerry. <sighs> there they are. Doesn't it look like they're really busy or something? Come on, it'll be fine. <sighs> um, excuse me. I'm Megan, and this is my son, Graham. We live across the street, and we didn't know this house was for sale. Oh, um, well, it was um, a short-notice move, you know. Realtors these days, they're funny people. Right, and you are? Oh, um, I'm Joan, and this is my daughter, Valerie. Well, I guess all we wanted to say was hello and welcome to Petsbury Road. If you need anything, like I said, we live across the street in the blue house. That's very kind of you, thank you. Maybe we could have you over for dinner this week or something. Um, well, um, we have a, a lot of moving to do, so, um, maybe. <laughs> um, okay, well, see you around. Thank you. Hey, Mom? Yes? Did you think the neighbors were a little weird? Well, they were a little weird, but I think it's just because they're new and they don't really know anybody yet. They'll probably get more comfortable with us later in the week. That's why I want to have them over for dinner, so we can get to know them. Well, I thought they were just weird. Well, you can have your own opinion, but I think it's a great opportunity to make a new friend. Come on, let's go home. Yeah, so this girl, she just, like, moved in out of nowhere. No realtor signs, no paperwork, no warning, just out of nowhere. That's weird. Do you know what her name was? Uh, I think it was something to do with a V. Can I have your attention, please, class? We have a new student. Her name is Valerie Pawsgrove. Hey, that's her. Go ahead and find yourself an empty seat. There's one right over there. Of course. Here's your seat, Mrs. Pawsgrove. Thank you. I'll just have to keep an eye on her. What? In case she does something weird. What do you mean weird? I don't know. We'll just have to see. <sighs> Sometimes I really don't understand your logic. Caleb and Graham, you both have detention. Stop talking while I'm trying to teach a class. <gasps> Now, as I was saying, we'd like to know more about the planets, but... Alright, class dismissed. Homework, please finish reading the first chapter, and let me know what you find out tomorrow about the planets. So are you taking the bus home? Dude. Graham! What? <sighs> you said keep an eye on her. I hoped you didn't really mean it. I, I'm not stalking or anything. I just want to make sure she doesn't do anything weird. I still don't see why you think she'd do anything. She's only a person. I know, but still. <gasps> She's leaving. I gotta go. So you're not riding the bus? That's the way teachers leave. No student goes down there. I knew she was up to something weird. She walked right past those teachers like they were nothing. Ah, uh, Mr. Burries. Uh, hi, Mr. Shelton. I hear you've been giving Mrs. Hosby a terrible time in class. I suggest you keep your mouth closed. Sorry, uh, I'll make sure to do that next time. <laughs> Exit this way? What about the bus or getting picked up? Oh, I'm probably gonna regret this.